Hi there and welcome to a new video. In this one we are going to be talking about what we should be expecting in 2025 from Red Dot, okay? I am not going to be discussing a lot if you don't yet know what Red Dot is. So basically it is an open source game engine from everyone but well, the main thing about this it has, is that as you can see it is basically a, a, a Godot fork, okay? So until now it is quite similar to the original Godot but it is uh, managed by people completely uh, different from the official Godot owner so it has a complete different team behind and people behind uh, handling this engine. Our well, right now they do have like a stable release uh, but it is super super similar uh, to the original Godot okay. Um, and actually we have here in this post over here uh, like about the future okay and and there were some stuff over here about the future such as uh, this new launcher also the idea of bringing a, some kind of academy etc uh, but well, we're going to see what is actually in this new post okay because there should be of course new information about these features or even more features announced so first of all uh, there is a new Red Dot Forum, okay, and if we click over here, we're going to actually be finding it. Um, so as you can see, it is like a brand new website that is uh, quite similar to to what would be the uh, Go Dot Forum, okay, or any other forum actually. Um, but well, this is basically meant to help a little bit the community and everything else because well, all the communication has been done through Discord, but well, it does have some limitations, so that's why they wanted to open their own forum. This is. Uh, completely available right now okay now in terms of the engine itself they are backporting JOL to the uh, 4.3 stable I don't know if um, this means that it is going to be natively integrated as a dev release from Godot okay that now JOL is uh, natively integrated into the engine and oh, well if you don't know what Jolt is it's basically a physics engine uh, that well it has a lot of performance improvements and added convenience in general okay it is much more performant and oh, well they also uh, want to focus a lot in, on uh, the open PRs that Godot has that way a lot of people is mentioning the fact that Godot has like a lot of uh, feature features requested by the community and they aren't like taking those into account so uh, now in terms of donations and the founding, um, here we can actually see this, that and this is something that we have also covered in the channel, that basically in the last month, basically this would mean in December, uh, they open up donations, okay? And basically well, here they do explain everything in detail, but we are just going to be taking into account this final image that they put. Uh, so after fees, okay, uh, they got this amount of money that is actually quite substantial for such a new project and for just having a last month uh, taking donations. So it is indeed quite, quite interesting. Well, here you have like in what exactly they have spent uh, some of this amount of money because they still have... Uh, some portion of it that hasn't been spent yet but well I believe that it is what we would all be expecting such as an Apple developer account dominant hosting etc I know here they directly come to add-ons and tools that are currently being uh, developed so for example this one is called event sheets which is basically a visual scripting plugin and also something quite interesting that is stated over here um, the good thing is that it is said that here, well, in this tab, you would see, let's actually open this a little bit uh, bigger. So here on the left, for example, we should see like there shall be visual scripting, but then here on the right, we should see it's equivalent in GD script. Okay, so this is huge, okay, and super important because a complete beginner who maybe doesn't want to go directly uh, could actually use here these kind of blocks and notes and then could actually see uh, how this would be coded, okay? So that is an amazing opportunity like to actually learn also coding um, at the exact same time. So this is basically what they are saying uh, over here. Now, this one is also quite interesting. I don't really know if there is like some kind of add-on that uh, already allows you to do this. But for me, this is actually be something that should be natively integrated. And this is uh, creating uh, collision shapes for uh, models, like a little bit easier. So basically this is meant to uh, 
make the adding of a physics shape to each of these models individually a little bit faster. This would um, assign basic physics shapes to multiple items um, in a breeze. And also it's stated over here that right now this uh, tool, uh, resin, is a command line tool. So for a lot of people, this could be literally difficult to actually use. But drum drop support is on the way as well. Oh, well, this is something that we have already discussed at the very beginning, just a, a Red Hat Engine launcher, with, in which, for example, we have projects, new project, import project, even their, their own asset library. Uh, we could see the projects right over there, the Discord, the website, even some kind of login over here, uh, recent projects, projects, uh, with also these kind of favorite projects icon, so it is quite, quite cool. And also, uh, the main advantage of this is that you could install uh, new versions of the engine directly over here. But well, nothing else than a, rather than a breakdown of what we have seen previously. Then the same thing about the uh, Red Dot Academy. And also some changes into the Red Dot website uh, itself, okay, that is meant to be changed a little bit. Now, in terms of game jams, there has already been a, a Red Dot game jam. And basically, they had to reschedule it at uh, the second one uh, for January 31 first due to an extreme weather system affecting large parts of the USA and Canada. They are also going to be introducing a new community event called Game Night. This will be basically a virtual get together where they will play different uh, multiplayer games. Ah, oh, well, basically, this is all. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Bye bye.